I am revisiting my envelope journal that we created together. I have a tutorial on how I made this as well as the kit in case you would like to create your own, but the idea behind it is to create a journal that resembles, of course, an envelope and write and keep letters to yourself or letters from your loved ones. Basically journal in a letter form. And instead of just writing on journal cards or behind pictures, I thought it would be really fun to create an interactive kit that encompasses the whole theme of envelopes and also works really well for journaling. I created some envelope pages to make it very interactive so that you get the feel and the look of an envelope on the front and on the back. But then when you open it up on the inside, you have collage papers that you can journal on and also add photos to. Not only that, but you also have spaces to add extra things as if you're tucking something into a pocket. And it's just so interactive. And it all starts from one page. Essentially, it's an envelope on a page. You have your front part of your envelope, your back side, your writing page, and then your collage page. And all you do is you fold it in half, and then you fold this in half, and you have your envelope. So I could easily add my photograph onto here, and then journal about myself or write a letter to myself on the other side. And then you can close up your little envelope and stick this into a pocket, or attach it with a paper clip. And this way you have so much space for journaling and writing to yourself. So I wanted to create an envelope page that came with your envelope as well as the letter space for you to decorate and to journal. So I think I'm going to be using this method for the first page in my journal. And on the inside I'm going to add some of the writing papers. Now I wanted to also create some writing papers that fit perfectly inside of the envelopes so that you have some really beautiful and decorative space for journaling. I added some beautiful floral borders on each of the writing papers and they come in different colors so that you can use them in any journal that you'd like. So I have finally finished lining the inside of my envelope with some writing paper. This is one of the floral writing papers that are in my shop as well and I love the decorative border and then how I have so much space for journaling. I love how the blue matches with the blue of this paper in the background so I think I'm going to wrap it up as if it's a real little envelope like in the mail and I'm going to attach it with a paper clip. It feels so nice. It feels like I have a real envelope and a letter in my hand. And it's the perfect size too. So I'm going to decorate my envelope on the inside. Just cutting a little bit of my photo so that I don't lose some of the decorative script and design on the inside of my envelope. So just trim it a little bit. Because obviously I know what I look like. I don't need to have the full picture. And then I'm going to do some facts about me, some journaling about myself. I'm going to go through the inside of my envelope and I will journal a little bit more about myself.
sometimes you lose and sometimes it calls you right in the mood come to my table come to my bed go easy my hunger easy my head bringing me fire bringing me water taking me high taking me down I just finished creating my second envelope for my envelope pages. I love this one. I love this one. Two completely different styles, yet they're the same concept. They're envelopes made from envelope pages. This is a perfect example of how you can go girly and vintage, a little bit of shabby chic, dress it up or dress it down to put into any journal, or you can go more of the vintage route where you can take the envelope page that has nothing on it and completely alter it to suit your needs. This is what I love about the envelope pages because they come with either the floral design or they come completely blank with the script so that you can alter them and transform them however you would like to. I wanted to show you two different ways of how you could use these. You can tie it up like a real envelope, especially if you line it with writing paper. This is perfect. It gives it just such a gorgeous look and of course you can finish it with a wax seal if you'd like to. Or you can go a completely different route by sewing the sides together. This way you can't open up your envelope pages, but you create envelope pockets. And the best part about this is that it's super easy to do. Instead of having your front, your back, and your inside that you can journal and use, you just fold the back and the front and stitch on the sides. This way you have one pocket here, another pocket here, and another pocket here. You have three pockets that you can put ephemera in. Now of course with this method you won't be able to see the inside of your papers, but of course the perfect thing about printables is you can print them again and you can continue to use the inside pages to then tuck into your pockets as well. I printed this envelope on some glossy 80 pound paper and then I printed this on some linen 80 pound paper. I wanted this one to look and feel vintage so that's why I printed it on that paper. In this envelope I'm journaling about myself, my mother and the things that she has taught me and she has a box where she keeps all her jewelry and the closure looks just like this. The journaling that I'm going to be doing in this envelope for my mother has to do with her jewelry box so I needed to include the design or at least the shape of her closure. As wonky as it might look it's very special and then the sticker reminds me of some placemats that me and my mom use whenever we're eating together. We eat lunch pretty much every other day together and we talk or we watch movies. When I look at the back of my envelope I think of my mom and then when I look at the front I think of myself and on the inside of the pockets I can fit so much in here which is what I love. It's like a never-ending pocket. You can fit so much ephemera in here and journal about so much and it all stays protected in an envelope made from an envelope page, which is just so cool to me. So here, the ephemera that I created, this was a little tag using one of my Polaroid papers. 
a little snippet of the writing papers. I loved it and I printed it on glossy paper so it's beautiful. And then this is one of my labels that are in my shop as well with some sentiments on it. And this is from some sentiments from magazines. And then on the back I think I might back it up with some more of that same writing paper that I used to decorate the front and do some journaling. This is just some of my sentiment cards that I love and go with everything, so of course, I'm just going to include it in there for more journaling. And this is a little washi sticker, so when I saw it, it instantly reminded me of my siblings, myself and my mother. And then I backed it up with some antique music paper, or pieces of the music paper on the edges that were ripping. And I combined it together, and then I just stitched it in place so that it wouldn't bend. And this is another sticker that says blessings on you mother and I'm going to journal about my mom and add a picture on the back. And then this is a little journal card that I created using another part of the writing papers, the pink set. I just did some journaling and I used a part of the magazine to inspire the journaling that says they're often the most forgotten parts of the landscape. I think this came from a garden journal, but it worked so well with what I wanted to journal about. Having your own internal landscape of your soul and mind. And I just wanted to get my thoughts down on paper. I dated it here up at the top. So this is just an example of how you can fill up your envelopes with ephemera that you want to make for yourself to document your thoughts in your life or to document the people that have impacted your life the most. And I wanna keep all of these cute and precious treasures inside of my envelopes that you can easily make in two different ways using the envelope pages. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a while and I'm so happy that I was able to create a digital kit that you guys can also use and alter to fit your lifestyle and your needs. You can make it as special as you'd like, as simple as you'd like, and you can make it your own, which is what I love. So of course, until next time, I hope that you guys have an incredible day full of peace and love wherever you are. Remember to always journal about yourself and to yourself so that years to come, you can read your words and your thoughts on paper. Until next time, I can't wait to share more projects with you all, and I hope you guys have an incredible day. Bye-bye, and talk to you soon.